What's up guys, Chicks here from Chicks Tech Reviews. So PS4 Remote Play is now available to enjoy on all devices. So Sony has finally opened the doors. So this includes any Android smartphone or tablet and iOS devices including iPad and iPhones. And of course PC and Mac. What is Remote Play? So some of you guys may not know what this is. PS4 Remote Play allows you to remotely play your PS4 and PS4 Pro games on a portable device like a smartphone, tablet or even laptop. So you can be playing your PS4 on your main screen and as long as your portable device is connected to the same broadband network you can switch the gaming to the portable device similar to how the Nintendo Switch works and continue playing anywhere in the house. Now for this to work you need to update your PS4 firmware to version 7 which I have already done. So in this video we are going to test out remote play on multiple devices. I have the brand new iPhone 11 Pro Max. I also have the Huawei P30 Pro and those are flagships but we also want to see how it's going to work on more budget orientated devices. So here is the Doogie S90. It's running a MediaTek CPU so I want to show you guys that it will actually work on any device not just flagships. Now we've also got the Xiaomi Mi Pad 4 and also the first generation iPad Air. So this is the first iPad Air, it's not the latest one. And these are the devices I'm going to test out PS4 Remote Play on. Now you can also connect the DualShock 4 via Bluetooth to give you a much better experience. So without any further ado, let's get started. And we are going to begin with the iPhone 11 Pro Max. My PlayStation 4 is on in the background. You can see that's my screen right there. PS4 screen is ready. I've already installed PS4 Remote Play, so let's get it open. And all you do is click on Start. Now you do need to sign in, so your usual PlayStation login, quickly sign in. I'm going to do that as well. Okay, so that's signing in. As soon as you sign in, it will say searching for PS4. Now you do need to make sure that your PlayStation 4 and your smartphone is on the exact same network. So this is the first time I'm connecting with my iPhone 11. And there you go, so there's Remote Play. Now if you do use it in portrait mode, this is how it's going to look. If we just back out just to show you in real time that it works with no lag at all. Now of course it's not really practical to play in this mode, so if we flip it around, landscape, you can see now that the touch controls still work. Now I will try loading up a game and my favourite game right now is UFC 3. I absolutely love that game, so let's just get it loaded up. So I could technically be anywhere in the house right now. As long as I stay in the house and I'm connected to the same Wi-Fi network, I can play my PS4 games on the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So I am going to show you in real time how this plays. So my television sound is off. There is no sound on the television right now. The sound is actually coming from my smartphone. So I'll turn it up. Okay, so you can see that it's working absolutely fine with no lag at all. I am going to connect my PlayStation 4 controller and show you how easy it is to connect as well. So if I put this phone down, you pick up your PlayStation 4 controller and what you're going to do is press the share button and the PS button at the same time until you see that light up. So here we go, one, two, three. There. So we are in Bluetooth pairing mode now. So grab your iPhone, come out of the game, go into Bluetooth settings and what you have to do is connect to your PlayStation 4 controller. There you go. DualShock 4 wireless controller has appeared and I've connected to it, it says connected and you can see the light is steady now. So we have connected the DualShock controller. Now go back into PS4 Remote Play. You're going to have to start it again because it does disconnect. Okay, so I've got my game controller set up. The Bluetooth is connected to the iPhone 11 Pro Max and you can see it works absolutely fine. Completely wireless connection. Here we go. Your bars is low. Oh, he barely caught. That was the fatal punch. He's out. 
and that is it so that was iPhone 11 Pro Max the next device we're going to do is Android and we are going to try the P30 Pro now you can only be connected to one device at a time connecting to the PS4 and I've got the message that I'm connected on the PS4 so in a moment or two you should see the screen mirrored there we go so the screen is mirrored you can see it's working if I turn my volume up and again the volume you're hearing is coming directly from the smartphone landscape mode you cannot use the DualShock 4 in PS4 Remote Play because this device does not support it. So the P30 Pro does not support DualShock 4 even though I'm connected, it just doesn't work. So we are going to have to use the touch screen and we will try the gameplay out and then we'll move on to the next device. So here we go. So we're going to stick with this game. You can see if there's any lag in the background. So you can get away with it, but you cannot press R1 and then press punch at the same time for the specials. It gets a bit tricky. So, so using the touch screen to do your special moves is not going to be easy. You can still play the game, but controller support is absolutely needed. If you play less complex games, you can probably get away with that on-screen touch control. Now the more experienced, younger audience can probably get away with that touch screen and do everything on it. I've seen my nephews do it and I don't know how they do it, but they can play any game with the touch screen. So let me know what you guys think about that. So that's the P30 Pro working absolutely fine. So the next device I've connected to is the Doogie S90 and unfortunately the DualShock 4 controller is not compatible with the Doogie either. So if we just grab the phone, you can see that it works fine. I'll open up the game. We we'll just play the same game because it just makes things easier for me. Here we go. Come on now, let's get ready. He smells blood in the ocean. In the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, it is. Straight to the Chiaz. Set him up with the one two. Microphone check one two one two. Oh, nice kick to the rim. Now here's a very interesting device that I want to test. So this is the Samsung Galaxy Alpha. The smartphone released in 2014. It's running Android version 5 and there are no updates. This is Android 5, one of the oldest phones that I have still got. And PlayStation 4 Remote Play we are going to test on this device. And if it works on this device it's going to work on more or less any device. The DualShock 4 controller is not going to be compatible with this smartphone either. Quickly go into the game and show you that PS4 Remote Play works fine on a 2014 device so you can see that playstation 4 remote play works on an old samsung galaxy alpha and you can see it works fine with actually no lag at all so it means that any phone that you have in your hand is going to work with remote play you'll be able to play your playstation 4 on it now the next device we're going to test is the ipad and as you can see the first generation ipad air is also connected remote play now unfortunately i could not connect the dualshock 4 controller to the ipad now let's try playing ps4 on the ipad and see how that experience goes Wow. So the next device we are testing this on is the Xiaomi Pad 4. Here we go. So there you have it guys, that was my video showing you some PS4 remote play in action on a number of different devices. Now I have read online, if you want to play with the Bluetooth DualShock 4 controller, your Android device must be at least Android version 10 and your iOS device must be at least iOS 13, which explains why the Bluetooth controller only worked on the new iPhone 11 Pro Max and not on the other devices on this desk. Nevertheless, 
PS4 Remote Play is now working on all Android smartphones. Sony has taken an amazing step in the right direction and this update is the best we have had from Sony in a very long time. Now I hope you guys found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.